So we're going to talk about printing, freeze panes, and the status bar. So the first thing we want to take a look at is freezing the panes. So right now you can see that there's a header row on, on this spreadsheet. I'll bold it. And if I scroll down and take a look at a student way down here, I lose that header row. Likewise, if I scroll over, I lose my student um, names and everything. So I can f what call freeze the panes. Under view, you will see freeze panes. And if you pull down, you can freeze the top row or the first column or you can click where you want them to be frozen. So if I want both the first column and the first row, I would click in B2 because everything above and everything to the left will be frozen. So let's try that. Freeze panes. Now when I scroll down, I will not lose my header. And if I scroll side to side, I won't lose my first column. Notice that the names are hidden, so why don't I unfreeze the panes? And this time, I want to click in the C. So now it will freeze this and freeze this and freeze the panes. And when I scroll down, it's frozen here. And scroll over, it's frozen there. So that works really well. Another thing that I want to call attention to is the status bar. That's this bar down here. And it's a quick way to get an average or count. So if I highlight a particular row, you'll see that I'll get an average of the numbers in that row. Here's a count and here's a sum. If I'm not seeing these items or there's some other items I might want to see, I can right click and put a check mark in anything that I want to see, uh, the minimum and the maximum maybe within that column and now that's showing up. There's the maximum number and if I want to see the high score on the quiz and the low score on the quiz. The last thing we're going to talk about is printing. So if I printed this it would print quite a few different tiled pieces of paper and maybe I just want um, a little bit of data. I can click and drag over the data that I want and then um, Then I want to click on the page layout and I'll see the print area and I can say set print area. Now when I've set this print area, this is the area that will print. I always want to print preview so I go to print and I see a preview here and if I see more than one page and I want to try to fit it on one page, one of the nice things is right down here I can say fit on one page. I can also change from portrait to landscape and set some custom margins on the print too. Click the back area to back out. And the last thing I want to talk about is saving. Um, when I go file to save, you'll notice that I can save as dis different formats. And I want to talk to you that the CSV, the comma delimited or the comma separated value file, will open up in any spreadsheet for, um, program, whether it's Apple or whether it's OpenOffice or um, even open up in Access. However, this will not hold any formatting that you have and it will only save the first worksheet in your workbook. It can't have multiple tabs and multiple worksheets in a workbook. So you'll only save the first one or the one that you are currently have open. Ditto, if you open up, if you download something from your server and it's saved as a CSV comma delimited file, when you open it up, you immediately want to go to save as and save it as an Excel workbook so that it's no longer a CSV because if you work in the workbook and you create charts and graphs and then you save, it will wipe all of that out and it won't even give you a warning. So it has to be an Excel workbook for it to save the things that you do in Excel. So that's really important to remember. And um, so make sure that you save it and save it as an Excel 